his contribution towards the music, film's music has been exemplary because right from uh, sending me small small details about ragams small small uh, uh, interviews and small small uh, interesting anecdotes about his working style and uh, from the time when he worked with raja garu and uh, so many other famous music directors i've, I've been learning a lot from him uh, right from the start of the project this uh, uh, this whole journey has been very very satisfying for me the x factor i would say is hanu is eccentric and i am equally eccentric so uh, it is like two mad people making music and making a very very good film which which you know touches the core of the audience hanu and uh, me always have this uh, kind of one uh, gentle fight about which song is better i'm very happy with the response that we've got on the songs because on the musical side we've tried to be very very uh, rich i have not used even one uh, single plastic sound in the album the movie is as real as it can get and uh, the songs are as organic as they can be so i've i've done maximum effort from my this is probably my best work till date so um it's a it's an album that that will stand i hopefully it will stand the test of time see one is we all miss spb sir there is definitely there is no one who can you know fill that void the only person i could think of to sing those songs the two songs that released other than spb was spb charan because he's got the same voice texture he's got the same uh, intonation uh, of singing he's got the same he's got a very similar uh, style of delivering and a, and a voice timbre that matches spb garu we decided okay let's uh, uh, i thought through this for a very long time i uh, i um, posted this thing to that sir and he was also very happy about the choice of the singer for o sita specifically hanu was like um, see this is a travel song and i want this song to be there for at least 10 20 years the shelf life of the song has to be that big for a song that requires that demands that kind of uh, an approach i would rather turn back time and go back to the 70s or 80s where uh, you know uh, there was this typical mix and mash of uh, when, when ilai raja garu and uh, spb garu were like ruling the uh, uh, music industry to a great extent this song has has a slight inspiration from that time so it is like taking turning the clock back in time to probably the 70s or the 80s so that was the brief given to me Intandam song was the song that was first done for the film. Initially it was a uh, rain song, but the way they have shot it, a rain would just a rain, a rain song would just be an understatement. Right now it is on a completely different level. The song is melodious, the song is soothing, and uh, I have not used any synthetic instruments. I have only gone with everything live. So it's a lot of hard work put and the kids who sang in uh, the song the the chorus portion of the song that then meena punya ma'am it's it's a lot of work put in by not just me it is by the entire team my wife my engineers all the instrumentalists everyone mm, i wouldn't say i have faced any challenges yes there are uh, a few challenges in uh, making every song sound different when i decided to sit and compose for this film one thing was that uh, since i am not going to use any electronic instrument or any um, you know uh, any synthetic instrument i decided that every song should sound different so the wide range of instruments that i've used live instruments that i've used mark for the difference in each and every song that was the challenging part because composing a uh, classy tune it comes naturally to me but uh something that is very uh you know that holds holds the test of time that comes only through live instruments and organic music so i have tried my best to push that actually the film is such that you do not require a song like that because uh, the the film is very real 
it is not a usual um, you know it's not a very very light hearted film it this film will really when you go and watch it in theaters it will really do something to you because it's it's deep it is real and it is uh, you know we, when we see these regular films we have this hero intro and we have this heroine intro that that kind of grammar is not there in sita rama it is very very real and rooted and it really it's it's like when when how people used to be when in the 1960s and 70s how people really used to be that is the way it's been shot and that is the the character of the film so this film actually does not require anything like that mainly uh, what i've done is i've done a small research based on songs that came out in nine, between 1960s and 1980s telugu film songs and one thing peculiar that i found uh, found out in all these songs were that they were mostly based on hindolam raga so i have not gone and used hindolam raga because i wanted this song to though it want wa- i wanted it to sound uh, uh, periodical but at the same time the usage of instruments and everything has been done according to that time like we have veena we have violin flute guitar and uh, there is a certain uh, plethora of mid- middle eastern instruments that are used in the film the other uh, the other few songs that were hits in 196 between 1960s and 80s were from other ragams so i have tried to you know um, specifically concentrate on that and uh, i i hope i have done, done justice to the whole thing in one word it would be soulful because um, it's a lot of effort that we put from our side and uh, it's not just uh, not just in telugu even in tamil and malayalam the amount of care that we have taken to you know uh, make sure that the language does not sound dubbed and uh, the the lyrics don't sound dubbed and that the sense is different in each uh, uh, each language for example uh, in tandam the beginning portion of uh, the melody is different in tamil because that fits better for tamil going through those comments in youtube also makes me feel really happy because uh, there are people who recognize that all the lyricists the whole team has been working really hard and uh, getting uh, to to get the output it's a very different kind of a ragam uh, it's it's loosely based on khamaj and uh, a little bit of uh, natabai ravi here and there but actually the the basic idea of this uh, thing is um, the song is it is synonymous of a kind of a wedding but not a very 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 celebrative celebrative uh, south indian wedding something that is very very when two hearts meet there is a rhythm between them something like that it is not uh, uh, with you know when when we have a wedding we have like some thousands and two thousands of people coming in this song is not like that it is just two hearts celebrating love and uh, discussing their wedding discussing their marriage discussing their future something on a very close uh, question answer kind of a session and this was penned by sri venela sitaram shastri garu uh, who is no more with us but you won't believe the kind of interactions i've had with that man he is a gift to telugu language because uh, not just telugu language he he's so well versed with alankarams he so well versed with uh, alliterations and figure of speech and the power of language that i had a conversation with him for 3 hours sitting uh, in the composing session he came to the composing session and graced me with his presence and sat down and uh, we were just randomly talking about the beauty of language beauty of sanskrit tamil telugu hindi everything put together he was one one thing that i'll i'll always still carry with me till till the last moment is the fact that he said that i love the fact that you are good with language the other day i was checking my instagram account and uh, there was one comment that i uh, received from a person and uh, it was like uh, um i've been listening to this song for almost uh 50 times or 52 times or something so that, that it it means a lot because they've been counting the t- number of times the replay has been uh, re- the play button has been <laughs> pressed tulkar is a great singer for all those who don't know tulkar is a very very good singer and uh, his uh, music sense is very very good and uh, apart from all that 
his presence in the frame as an actor i've seen most of his films but in sita ramam he's really he's outdone himself there are, there are moments where i myself sitting while composing have become a little teary eyed so uh, have it, that's the kind of emotional you know that uh, emotional feeling that he gives you even from the screen so his performance is mind blowing there's this song the the main the letter uh, the song based on the letter theme this comes throughout the film you will be hearing it uh, in bits and pieces here and there because that the letter is the thing that connects sita and ram because if there is no letter there is no film and this song is as important as the letter because every time every time uh, ram is remembered this letter song is remembered every time sita is remembered in the film the letter is letter song is remembered so it is loosely based on the rag jog and um, it is a very very what to say it's a very very mystic kind of a tune sapna has been a great uh, support for the entire music production uh, right from the start because even before when hanu narrated the script to me she has already started asking uh how is the work coming along and all that so the kind of interest and the kind of freedom that i got here mainly with swapna cinemas and vaijanti movies i will always be very thankful because this is the kind of freedom i don't get anywhere not 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 many uh, production houses give me this kind of freedom because there is always this fixed template of you know uh, there has to be this kind of a song there has to be that kind of a song no this is a this is a journey that i started while starting composing for sita ramam and i hope this continues with vaijanti and swapna thank you so much